Clip. Don't be such a brute.
Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Those abyss mages just now. Were they trying to ambush us? No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Oh, is that so? The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Hmm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object. To However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else, much more than they do a painful interrogation. Uh, Paimon is getting goosebumps thinking about all of this. Alright, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Ride on wind and cloud alike. Swift and merciful. Closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Windblade! Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little 
closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. Come a little closer. for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Such a brute. <laughs> Come a little closer. for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Oh no, I'm gonna ruin my... Gloves. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Hideout, there's often a bunch of ruin guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Or. There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Forget it. Just some needless musings. 
The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same- Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kanria. Huh? Kanria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Kanria, that's really a super ancient name! Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine. So I shall not pry into yours. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your brother? Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented flourishing and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that... Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanria. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. <laughs> 